Good morning, everybody. Israel Luna here on day three for Tribeca Film Festival here in New York City. Okay, so it's 9.40 in the morning, and I just got up a little bit ago and went down the street to get some Starbucks. Um, we had a really late night. We didn't get in until, I don't know, about 3, 3.30ish. So um, this video is going to be a little sloppy, I'm sure, because I'm just now waking up. But I didn't do a video last night because I got in so late. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So Tony and I had interviews from about noon to 4 o'clock. Um, the videos were about the announcement that we made yesterday, or I guess, yeah, yesterday now. Uh, so if you haven't seen the announcement, uh, I've decided to Greek out or blur a couple of the letters for, from the word tranny. And I don't want to go into it all over again because I already have an announcement about it. So I'm going to move on, all right? Um, so we had those, and then uh, Micah, for those of you... Uh, who know Micah or don't know Micah, Micah B, Micah Baines, he flew up yesterday to uh, for the premiere, and uh, he's a music extraordinaire, great DJ, so if you ever need a DJ, Micah B, he's one of my friends on Facebook. So anyway, he arrived, and I needed to buy some shoes, so he and I just walked down Times Square, because he said, hey, I'm in New York, and excuse me, he had just arrived, so I said, let's walk, and it was, I don't know how many blocks, 20 blocks, but wait, they went by excuse me like that because he and I were just catching up and talking and we walked all the way down uh, and he was enjoying the view of the Asians he likes the Asians so that was fun so we uh, went to a place called DSW I think and I bought a nice pair of shoes because I didn't I don't have any black shoes uh, so after that it was getting close to dinner time so uh, our one of our hosts Taka decided to take us to dinner and uh, at, a, at this place called Etc. Etc. It's owned by some friends of his. And um, I have to tell Taka, you know, yes, we're here for Tribeca. Yes, we have one of the most buzzed about films, but um, we're still independent filmmakers and we cannot afford to spend $50 on one dinner, Taka. Hopefully you will see this video. We're happy with McDonald's, we're happy with Chipotle, we're happy with all those places, but 50 bucks for dinner, we cannot afford. Wait till after we sell the movie. Taka. Not all of us can be Japanese producers for Japanese television. Anyway, I love you very much, though. Uh, then, Crystal and Jenna arrived yesterday. They didn't get in until about 7.30ish after they flew in and then got all ready and to go and everything. So Tony and I were able to squeeze out two extra tickets on top of our two VIP tickets for this thing that they called the Filmmaker Welcoming Party. And it was held at an Apple store. So it was really fun. So the girls got ready. We swung by and grabbed them both. We went together, took a cab over there. And it was so great for all of us, especially for the girls, because... We walked in, within two minutes of coming inside, they were getting their picture taken. Everyone was, of course, they got all the looks, so everyone's looking, and then they would come up, and we would introduce ourselves, and you know, we'd say, we're with Ticked Off Trannies with Knives, and they'd say, oh my god, yes, I heard about your film, and so that went on for a good hour, hour and a half, and then from there, we decided to do a little bar hopping just to sort of be seen, and uh, the first place we went to was this place called Barracuda, and it was great because... There was a guy from Next, the uh, website called Next. They had already done an article with us once before, but he was there, so he was talking to all of us about it, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I saw a porn star there, um, really, really huge, big guy. I don't know his name. I don't keep up with porn names, but if I saw a picture, I would say, yep, that's him. I'll, I'm going to find a picture, and then see if y'all recognize them. So anyway, yeah, porn stars here and there. Oh my god, by the way, yesterday when I was going to buy shoes, Mario Cantone, or Cantone, however you pronounce it, uh, he's the one that's, <clears throat> excuse me, he's the gay guy on Sex and the City, and he's on The View a lot with Joy Behar, she loves him. He's the one that does impressions of um, uh, Liza Minnelli and Betty Davis and all this stuff, and he's really loud. But anyway, we were walking by, and I thought, oh my god, that's him, and I was going to say hello, but 
Um, he was, I think he was cruising a cute, cute little twink boy. So I didn't blame him. So I didn't want to respond and, you know, mess up his game. So I just walked by. Um, so, oh, and speaking of celebrities, when we were leaving uh, Barracuda, I saw two people outside and I thought, they look really familiar. Um, I'm just not going to mess with it. And then Brian and Tony and everyone else walked out. And it's uh, a couple of people from the Project Runway cast. Uh, the one guy had, you know, kind of spiky, crazy hair and a big beard, and he was really cool with a leather jacket. I forgot his name, but the girl I did remember is Maya. She's the one on the season right now. She's the one with the really pretty jet black hair that comes down, and she was so cool. Oh my God, we were all just starstruck, so we all took pictures with them, so be looking for those on mine and Tony and Brian's page. Um, so anyway, that was really cool. We talked to them for a few minutes, and... Uh, and we gave them flyers, of course, and they were pretty blown away by our film. And, you know, maybe we'll be able to see it. I mean, maybe they'll be able to see it. See, I'm still waking up. Uh, so then we went to another bar. I don't know what the name of it was, but they had dancers all on top of the uh, 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 bar counters and all that stuff. So that was fun. Um, what's funny is we were there and we were handing out flyers and stuff. And the there was this one little twinky Asian girl that I guess just didn't like us getting attention or something uh, and she told the manager that we were handing out flyers and the or the owner and he came over and he said you can't pass those out but you can put them next to the door and we're like alright fine little twinky Asian faggot yeah take that glad faggot faggot I can say that as much as I want cause I'm faggot uh, and then last but not least we went to a place called Splash and Splash was fun. Lots of Latinos. Lots of my people there. So, of course, Tony was in high heaven. And, um, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, it was very dark. Lots of red lights. It was really cool. So, that's it. And then we came back home. By the time I got home and settled in and everything, I... I oh, my battery had run out on my phone. So, I wasn't able to make a video. So, I just woke up this morning and I said, you know, I'm not even going to get dressed or anything. I'm just going to do this video. So that is the recap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is our premiere. We're going to have a full day of press media interviews. And then we have this little dinner uh, planned. And then a pre-red carpet appearance at a club? Pre-show red carpet something or other at a bar. And they're going to play our trailer and hype up the film and everything. And then from there we're going to go to... Um, to our screening so this is the day people this is the world premiere tonight so keep watching and uh, I will update you tonight or first thing in the morning thanks a lot bye